Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. The brand new Samsung S23 series was announced today. We have a new S23, S23 Plus, and S23 Ultra. And I have some cases today for the S23 and the S23 Plus. We'll take a look at the Ultra in another video. But let's go ahead, open some boxes, try on some cases, and see what we have from Subcase because they sent us some really nice cases. And this dope hoodie. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out their cases. All right, let's go ahead and start off with the S23 Plus cases and then we'll go to the S23. So we'll set those off to the side over there. We'll set the, the little phone off to the side. And here we have three subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro cases for the Plus. And let's go ahead and just take a look at the uh, colors. Looks like we're gonna get one in Camo Glitch, which, ooh, I'm looking forward to seeing that. That looks kind of cool. Um, and then we have the uh, Unicorn Beetle Pro uh, Plus, and it says in FDE, I'm not exactly sure what color that is. And then we have one in, uh, in Gold Dawn, it looks like. So, all right, let's do this, because I am most excited to see this glitch one. So let's, um, let's take this out, and this thing looks like it's gonna be cool. All right, there we go, we have all that out. And that is dope. Yeah, uh, this is dope. I, I hope they have one for the Ultra because I think I want this on my phone. So now first off, you can see here with the Unicorn Beetle Pro case, there's gonna be a few features that are really nice. Like you're gonna be able to have this belt, uh, this belt clip right there. So if you wanna hook this to a belt or a purse or a backpack, you can. It comes with the uh, it comes with this, uh, with the mount there. So let's see if we can get this out right there. It's a little release. And there we go. It comes out. You can see this part can attach to your belt or your purse. And it actually, uh, this part actually rotates a bit there so you can get the right angle for whatever, uh, whatever you're attaching it to. This is all nice and uh, it's nice hard protective plastic. You can see there, there's bumpers around the edge as well. And then we have the case here. This is the Camel Glitch. And this thing looks really, really nice. So. Let's go ahead and uh, and get it onto the get the phone in there, and we'll just uh, let's see if we can get that snapped in. And there we go, we have it in there. That is looking really nice. <laughs> I'm digging that camel glitch. And um, you may notice on the back here, there's a little cutout. That's because there is a kickstand, so that you can actually have your phone set upright. So if you want to have your phone just like this, you can have it upright, and you can see there. Um, you have to get that locked in. And then there you go, you can see that it will sit up. Now, if you wanna watch a movie or something, you can just simply turn it to the side and then have your phone just like that. Now you have a nice setup with your phone that's gonna work, so. But that is the kickstand and you just simply uh, unlock it and lock it. So there's a little, uh, a little cutout right there. You just pull it, make sure it snaps in so it's locked and you're good to go. And uh, to release it, just push it a little bit and then you can snap it right there, so. Yeah, but we have cutouts for the camera, cutouts for the flash. It's all, they're all recessed a bit in there so that, um, so that you have that protection in case you drop the phone. All these bumpers are there. You have nice clicky buttons on the side and the power button there, so yeah. Now on the bottom here, you also have your speaker cutout and you have your cutout for your, um, for your power and your USB-C port, and this part right here is actually um, is actually covered as well, so if you drop, you don't have to worry about getting anything in there, crusty or anything, it's just a well-designed phone there, so yeah. All right, actually we'll do this, we'll set this in there and we'll see what this looks like, so, um, so there you go, you can put your phone in the case there, and now you're ready to go. And if you wanna put it, I think you can actually put it in, um, this way so that the screen is protected. And now you can kind of flex your uh, flex your camo glitch on here a little bit and you have the uh, and you have the mount there. So and let me just show you right quick. So you can just stand up here. Let me stand up here. You can put this onto your belt just like that. So now if you want to have that on your belt and you can turn it if you want to rotate it like that. So depending on how you want it. You can also put this on a backpack and when you want to uh, take this off you just simply push the button and there you have your phone. So, very nice. 
I like it. All right, let's go on. Um, let me get this off my thing, off my belt. <laughs> and let's go on and check out the next one. Let me, um, let me see if I can get this out of here. This is one of those tests of a, of a case. How easy or difficult is it to get out of, uh, to get it out, get your phone out of it. Some people have complained before that they can't get their phones out of these cases. And this one definitely seems to, uh, definitely seems to be hugging the, the case there. And I'm not, the phone there, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get it out. All right, I think I might have to do this off camera so I don't actually break the phone. Okay, well, unfortunately, I can't put the phone on any other cases because um, I couldn't get the phone out of the case. I put it in there and the case would not release the phone and it broke. As we can see here, the it's, it was just a dummy unit, but it, uh, yeah, I tried to get it out and, uh, and I could not and now the phone is broken. So I can't unfortunately even get it out. I can't even get the rest of this out of here. And uh, I'll be perfectly honest with you. If I can't get my phone out of a case and I'm risking this with a dummy unit, I'm not feeling overly confident to put my real phone in there. And as someone who changes his case relatively often, I want a case that's secure, but I also want a case that I can actually get my phone out of. And I've had people complain about cases being very, very difficult to get their phones out of. So I don't know. We're gonna move on. I'll show you the other case. I'll just open them up. I'll just open the cases up and show you what they look like. And, uh, and that's where we'll have to leave it because unfortunately, I can't put the phone in anything else. So I'll try it again with the uh, with the S23 and their case and see how that works. If I have the same experience where I can't get it out, then I'll just have to show you the cases without the phone. So, all right, let's, let's keep it pushing. Actually, first, let me clean this mess up and then let's keep it pushing. All right, well, apparently this case is a two-part case and that's why I couldn't get the phone out. I'm surprised I was actually able to even get it in. I shouldn't have been able to get it in even with the uh, without taking this apart, but I was able to but I was unable to get it out. And unfortunately the case broke. I mean, the uh, dummy phone broke. And so what can you do? All right, well, basically you have to put these two together and now you have your case. So um, yeah, I'm a little disappointed um, as you can probably hear, but uh, let me just go ahead. We'll set this off to the side. Let me open up the other ones and see. At least I know for the uh, S22 and the uh, S22 Ultra, <laughs> that these here are, uh, are two part cases. And I guess I should have remembered, I haven't, used, uh, uh, I haven't used one of these for a while. But this one here is the Unicorn Beetles, uh, the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro and Goldon. And uh, yeah, so this is it right there. Again, you have that nice kickstand that locks into place so that you can actually use this at, uh, you know, if you're watching a movie or something, or you can prop it up right like that, and uh, it gives you some really nice options here. So, all right, let's set this uh, set this back in here, and there we go. Oop, I think this probably well, we'll figure that out. We'll get that going right there, and then here is an uh, an FDE. I'm not sure what FDE is. It almost looks sort of like a cream color or a um, oh, this is kind of cool. It looks it's definitely have like the earth tones. It's sort of like it reminds me of something that you would see on a ranch. Um, I like this. This looks pretty cool. So there's that. Same thing. Same nice uh, kickstand there that you can uh, that you can pull out and use that. I guess you can also use this as a um, you know as sort of like a, a handle right there, a grip if you want to put your finger through it um, and then and then do that, that could work as well. So again, these are two part cases, which I found out the hard way. <laughs> there we go. All right, let me see if I can, uh, let me see if I can get this in there. Okay, so let's set this off to the side over here. Let me grab my, uh, let me grab the S22. <laughs> and, um, and let's see if we can do this without breaking anything, so. All right, so this one is in the FDE here. So this, let's um, let's see what this looks like with the actual uh, with the phone in it. So let's do this. We're gonna pull this apart. There's a little notch on the edge right there on the on the bottom right hand corner. 
you're going to go ahead and uh, get in between there if you can and then separate these out. There we go. Separate those out. Now we can go ahead and we can put the phone in there just like that. And now we can go ahead and put them together and get that going. So usually it says on there to, to start at the top and then work your way down. So um, we'll do that. See if we can get this. Uh, looks like this little flat part is stuck. There we go. Okay. Now you just have to make sure all the edges are on there right. So that's it. It looks pretty good. I have to say, I also like, I, again, I like the fact that the way the case is designed, that it has these, uh, has the, the cameras and the flash and stuff recessed in there so that if you drop it face down or set it down, it's not going to smack your cameras and damage them and break them or scratch them. You have these little bits right here that sort of make it so that this is, um, so that you're hitting uh, these here as sort of like little buffers before you hit the case. You have nice cushioning around here, nice clicky buttons and everything. So yeah. All right. And then now let's go ahead and take this off. So now we're just going to peel this back and separate the two parts of the case there and get that off. I have done this before. I wish I would have remembered that this was a, uh, a two part case before, <laughs> before I put it on the, uh, before I put on the, um, the S22 plus, cause now I can't really show you what those cases, uh, what that, uh, what those cases look like. So, all right, with the phone in there, I mean. So, all right, let's go ahead, we'll grab this one here and, and show you. And this one's gonna be, okay, this one's gonna be the, uh, the camo glitch again. And the camo glitch is dope. This thing is, I love this, this thing is fire. So, all right. There we go, not putting it in there. I'm just gonna show, accidentally put it in there right quick. Let me go ahead and, uh, and put this in there so you can see. Uh, let me get that separated. And, oh, you know, I think I'm about to pull that little tab out there. And now, let's see if we can set that somewhere. And I'm just having trouble today. All right, there we go, get that. See if we can get that in there and there we go get that in there now we can put the uh we can put it in we're going to start at the top there just like that and then make sure you pull this little part back here the little lip part that see that seems to be a normal thing when i put this on that that sort of gets stuck right there so i just want to make sure that's on there and there you go looking good i like it Nice uh, little kickstand on there. You can use it as a way to uh, to uh, as a, to grip your phone. Yeah. All right. That is the camo glitch case, and that is the uh, the Unicorn Beetle Pro for the uh, for the S23. And we have one other color to see to check out there. And let's see what that is. Let's see if we can get this in there. And do I have it on the right end? Yep, I have it on the right side. Okay. Set this stuff over here, get that going. And now let's check out this last one and see. Oh, this one looks like it's gonna be in ruddy. All right, ruddy is their, is their red color and that looks really nice. Yeah, that definitely looks nice. I like it, all right. I don't think we need to put the case into the phone into every single case there. I think we get the idea of how these things look, but um, let's see if I can get that back in there again. This thing's going to come with your um, with your belt clip there, so uh, you can use it however you want it. It's rotatable there, so that you can have it the way you need it. And yeah, and actually, you know, let me do this. Let me go ahead. I'll put this one on so you can get an idea of what it looks like what the uh, S23 looks like if you put it on your belt or something versus the S23 Plus. And let's see, some of these cases are really hard to work with. That's one of those things when it comes to dealing with really protective cases, they do offer a, amount of, a good amount of protection, but, um, but they can be really challenging to get your phone in and out of and and I recommend that if it's that if you need that that def if you need that level of protection definitely get what you need but if you don't need that amount of protection and you're someone who's more of a of a uh, 
of a case switcher like I am, then you might find these cases to be a little challenging to deal with. But I think you'll, I think as far as protection, looks and everything, they look fantastic. If you're someone who puts their phone in the case and then forgets about it until it's time to upgrade, this is definitely a, kid, a great case for you. Or if you know you're going to do something very rugged, like camping or hiking or something where you might actually drop your phone or damage it or something, this might be a, a great case to put in there and then you'll just have to, you know, take it out if you want something a little bit smaller or, or thinner or just easier to get in and out of later. So, all right, let's go ahead and um, let's put this on my belt, see what this looks like here. So we'll go ahead and we'll just, Put that right there, and there you have it. Now you can put your uh, hoodie over it, won't really even be able to see it that much, or you can have it right there. And again, you can rotate that if you want to have it up and down, or you can put it right there if you want to. And then, uh, yeah, pretty simple. All right, well that's it. That is the, uh, those are the cases, the Unicorn Beetle Pro cases from Subcase for the S22 and S20, uh, excuse me, the S23 and S23 Plus phones that just came out today. So I do have some cases for the S23 Ultra. So if you're interested in that, check out the video that is gonna be up cause well, I'm about to shoot it right now. All right, everyone. Well, there you have it. That is a look at the subcase cases for the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. We had a couple of the Unicorn Beetle Pro cases and a couple of the Unicorn Beetle cases. Now, these are really fantastically protective cases and subcase always offers you great style, great protection and great functionality. So whatever case you choose, I think you'll go right with this and you don't have to worry about if your phone is going to be protected. You just have to find out which, uh, which model is going to be the one that's right for you as far as functionality and style. So yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna leave a link to these cases down below in the video description so that you can check them out. I'm also gonna leave a link to uh, Amazon and all my other social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere and see the other products and services I've reviewed over time. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.